seconds. Uh, welcome back, Maria. We had a little bit of uh, interruption. Uh, those things happen, especially uh, during those times. So thank you for bearing with us. We're going to carry on where we um, uh, got disconnected. We were talking firstly about uh, personal finance. Um, so let me hand over to you, uh, Maria, if you can briefly um, mention about uh, personal finance to our viewers and to our Yes, so we were talking about uh, emergency funds and how to figure how much money you need in order to build this emergency fund. So for that matter, you first need to make a budget. Right on the screen, you see um, the template that I have on my website. It's pretty simple. You put your income and then um, where it says expenses, um red line um, until above the green line everything is um fixed cost things that you have to pay every month no matter whether you're working or you're having income or not so when you put there all these spendings you will get a number for fixed cost and per month and this is from where you take it you multiply by this by three and uh, this is the number that you need to save in order to have three emergency fund as simple as this this is all you need to do and then you may continue and make it up to six months a little bit later so uh, it's quite important to have something like this, especially uh, during times uh, like uh, uh, the nowadays. Um, and it's never too late, Maria, isn't it, to start working on uh, having something? No, of course, like it's this. never too late. Uh, so, so that was for the personal. Uh, it's never personal too late, and if you don't have it now, yeah. <sighs> So, so that was for the personal finance. Um, and again, you can get the template on uh, Maria's um, Money Chat website. Um, and if you get in touch with her, she'll be more than happy to uh, guide you and give you more information. Um, let's move on to what uh, we had uh, planned, uh, talking about the uh, uh, very briefly uh, the latest news that everyone has heard. So, Maria, shall we start uh, in order to recap what has been said so far? Because as everyone knows, th things keep changing very quickly. So we're just uh, updating on what uh, we have heard so far. Absolutely. So obviously we had a budget and six days later there was a new budget and what has been announced so far um, to help small and mid-sized businesses uh, is actually four points um, the first one is the interest rate cuts the way this is intended to help businesses is that it's going to make it's very cheap to borrow money. Um, so if you are a small business owner, you will be less stressed to go and apply and take a loan than if the interest rates were, let's say, 10%. It's probably going to bring you a lot of stress, even if you need the money to survive. So these very low interest rates are meant to make money more available and business owners less scared to ask and take money this is the first point then the next one is no business rate in case someone doesn't know what a business rate is it is um, a little bit like a council tax but it applies for um, non-residential real estate so if you have a small store or a coffee shop or something like that you are supposed to be 
paying business rates. Um, they have been uh, removed for uh, 2000 uh, for yeah for this year 2020. Um, how do you get this break of not paying a business rate? Actually, um, it's going to be reflected in the April um, announced basically the uh, local government is not going to bill you so you don't have to apply, you don't have to do anything if you're eligible for it, you're just going to get it. So that's about the business rates. Um, the next one, government grants for small businesses, it's um, actually also called small business rate relief. So it's for small businesses that are not eligible for no business rates. Um, the government is going to offer grants in the size of 10,000 GBP. Um, they are supposed to be made available to the local authority by the government in the beginning of April. And um, how you're going to apply for it, it's actually the same situation as um, you know, business rates. You don't have to apply. Um, if you're eligible, your local authority will contact you and let you know that you could receive this grant um, for um, that are in the consumer business this is that really are really affected, like retail. Mm. Uh, sorry, Maria, to interrupt. So this is really, really good news for small business uh, businesses out there. Uh, it's really positive. Uh, obviously, Absolutely. they're going to give more information on the topic as uh, things uh, develop. Uh, but this is a re really good news. And uh, you see, this is something that I didn't know that the local authority are actually going to uh, go out and contact, you say, uh, the eligible businesses. Is that what you said? Yes. Yes, exactly. Uh, nobody needs to go and apply for the two for the first. Uh, sorry, for the second and for the third point, whoever is eligible, they will be contacted and uh, they don't have to do anything. And uh, I know that many people don't know that. That's why I'm mentioning it, um, because a lot of things were announced and it was announced that this is going to be done and that is going to be done but at the end of the day people don't know how it's going to be done when it's going to be done so this is it beginning of april for both things um and yeah hopefully expect to be contacted what i wanted to mention was for retail businesses and uh for um restaurant coffee shops and so on the type of business that is uh um, eligible under the you no know, business rates, there actually might be uh, larger grants available for them above those uh, 10,000. Again, in principles applied, they will be contacted by the local authorities. Any very good questions? Uh, yes, I think topics? I have. Was I think it I, was it around twenty thousand. I heard the t ten thousand for the small and was it twenty? Were they talking about twenty thousand for larger ones? Uh, is it correct or incorrect? Fifteen, twenty-five, or fifty. We can go up fifty-one. It's not clear at the moment whom it could be that much, but. Uh, that is the largest number that has been mentioned. Uh, and um, uh, we will keep everyone um, uh, updated on all this um, as we know ourselves more. Uh, what's the next point you wanted to cover, Maria? The next one is the government guaranteed um, loans. Um, first, I think you asked me what it means that uh, a loan will be guaranteed by the government. So basically, um, one of the challenges ahead 
um, is going to be that banks, even if they are willing to lend money in these difficult circumstances, a lot of businesses that are affected by the uh, virus, um, social isolation and so on are going to not look eligible. They're not going to be a good candidate. So in order to incentivize the banks to give money to small and mid-sized businesses, the government is um, going to guarantee up to 80% of certain loans. Um, so what this is going to do, it's, it is still your loan as a small or mid-sized business owner. You're still going to pay that loan, but um, there is no risk for the bank because if you're failing to pay, the government is going to be liable for up to 80% of money that you received so if the bank was initially going to say no to you um now it's going to be a yes because there is a very low risk for the bank um there is some additional information over here it's going to be interest free loan for the first six months because um the government is going to pay the first six interest rates um, so again, the bank is being paid, but you don't have to be the one paying for that. You still have to pay principal, obviously, but the interest portion, which in the initial life of a loan is pretty high, is going to be covered by the bank. So that is a big relief for small business. Um, in terms of eligibility, um, meat and small size businesses, which have less than 250 employees and uh, less than 41 million per year turnover should be eligible. There are certain sectors that will not be, and uh, there are going to be exceptions. Not, not every small business is going to make it. You'll need a strong case and proposal for the bank, but it's still, it's a big relief for them to know that they're carrying very, very little risk in this situation. So I think this is going to be very helpful and it's very important. Yes. I see you have and a I question. Think, uh, <laughs> I think you, uh, you had mentioned that uh, this is something uh, that uh, Money Chats can help uh, with if, uh, if they are interested uh, to uh, get in touch um, and maybe going forward, discuss more uh, how they can go about it and maybe uh, help out with the uh, applications. Is that right, Maria? Absolutely, I'd be happy to help with applications. Um, it's still a process. You still need to go through your bank and so on. There are um, at least 40 banks that are partnering with the government on um, this project but it's not going to be one it's not going to be centralized so they're all still going to have different application forms different papers they're going to ask you for different things so yeah uh, but it, 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 uh, it is good news really not it it is good news guaranteed loan um uh, that will uh, that will uh, really help the banks to help the small businesses, isn't it? Yes, it is great news and it's, um, it's going to be very full. And uh, I think we're moving on to the last point, Maria. Um, one thing actually regarding the government guaranteed loans they are expected to start being available from next somewhere next week wow so that <laughs> yeah it's uh, it's the timeline is moving pretty quick okay so good news good news excellent 
Yes. Um, so the last point that is not necessarily business related, it's probably more again on the personal finance things is that um, um, the government has um, Okay, it was um, offered to banks to help, but now it's kind of mandatory. I think all the banks are going to be obliged to offer um, three months um, interest rate vacation for mortgages. What that means is that um, you will be able to extend your mortgage three months longer. So if it was... Uh, going to end in January uh, 2010, sorry, 2030. And uh, now it's going to be able to end in uh, April 2030. Um, the interest rate is still going to be accrued for those three months, but uh, the payment doesn't have to be made in case you're not getting your salary or in case you're not able to operate as a business for this this is again something that is not centralized and you have to speak to your bank to your uh, loan provider or mortgage provider and um, it's recommended to contact the bank on the phone as fast as possible um, once this was announced regarding the mortgages uh, the question regarding the people who rent was raised because this is where the situation is the least clear as of now. So what's happening there is uh, the prime minister said that people are not going to be evicted, um, but it's not clear when, how, what. It's recommended to contact the landlord and if the land is... Uh, if he mortgage, he can do what we discussed uh, a second ago regarding the mortgage vacation. So, question uh, about this, Maria. So, uh, we're it's mm -hmm. talking about extending, giving more time, and uh, su suspending the. Uh, they're not suspending the interest during the times where they're suspending the payments mm -hmm. so it's just allowing few yeah. more few more months to actually to make those monthly payments yes and uh, also they're still discussing how if you apply for the um break how it's going to affect your credit score it's also still not clear Okay, so I, I guess we'll have to keep everyone. But at uh, least you're not going to payment. Yes, so we'll, they have to contact their banks uh, for the mortgage and their landlords uh, for the rents. Um, it's all subject to yeah. uh, discussions, isn't it? Yes, exactly. Discussions and negotiations. Okay, thank you so much, Maria. I, th I think uh, that's all we have time for today, but uh, we will keep everyone updated uh, with all those uh, topics. Um, and like Maria said, some con do get in touch with uh, your um, uh, contact, where, whether it's in regards to mortgage, um, it, for the business rates with the banks, uh, do get in touch now because things are are starting to to uh, be put into place, isn't it? Even if it, things are not clear, uh, you can get more information uh, with your provider. Is that right, Maria? Yes, and it's recommended if you expect to have any kind of trouble or difficulties, contact your bank as early as possible for landlord. Okay, so uh, on this note, we shall keep everyone posted uh, same time next week, Maria, five o'clock Friday next week. Sure, I'll be here.
And I'll be here as well. Thank you very much, Maria, again for your time and um, your expertise. One more thing. If people have specific questions for next week, they can ask them on uh, your Facebook page so we can look into whatever is bothering them. Uh, absolutely. Any questions? You're absolutely right, Maria. Uh, do get in touch, uh, message uh, on the page or privately uh, if, you, if you feel that you want to send it in a private message and we will keep it's anonymous. We will answer the questions uh, because your question is probably on someone else's mind. So, um, anything else, Maria? Yes. Uh, no, not for now. Um, I wanted to say something about credit cards, but we can say that next week. Stay we tuned if you have credit card questions. Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned. Thank you very much, Maria. Everyone, please look after yourselves. Uh, social distancing is the word out. Um, and looking after yourself. Plenty of vitamin C, vitamin D as much as you can to support your immune system. And uh, keep up uh, the good work. Um, and we'll be in touch with everyone next week. Same time next week. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye, Maria. Bye, Maria.